What's up and good afternoon guys. Welcome back to another video. I am super stoked today. We're gonna be doing something really cool on the channel. Something I've been wanting to do to my truck forever. Then I saw D-Max Josh did it to his truck and I was like super jealous. And well, we're not doing it to my truck today. We're doing it to Brian's truck. But I'm really curious to see how this is gonna turn out, how the process of how it's done. And uh, just seeing like the artisticness that is going to envelop the warehouse today because well, yeah, I'm not the most artistic person in the world. So seeing other people that can actually like create things out of their like brain and translate that into beautiful art, that's gonna be rad. That's a good looking beard there, buddy. Hey, Rhino. What's up, bro? I made you take about uh, six steps back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Si Sorry, six, six, six steps years. back. I don't know yeah. what's up with this gray, bro. Aren't you I know. Like, hey, 25 it's, years old? It's wisdom. So you guys remember the little work for it grill plate that we made for Bryant? He ended up uh, putting some vinyl behind it, the Bryant way. <laughs> and color matching it to his truck. We've got the artist himself. What's your name, bro? Noah. Noah. Let's shake your hand, but uh. It's alright. Yeah, we don't yeah. shake hands anymore, anyway. So you, you graffiti artist, paint. What do you? What Something do you do? like that. Just uh, whatever. Gra graffiti paint with. legal. I oh, dabble. Don't ask questions. Yeah. All right. Well, come on in, dude. You don't need to carry all those boxes. There you go, Noah. This is uh, this is your studio for the day, buddy. Uh, yeah. Now I don't know exactly what type of scale you like to work on, but if you ever get really bored, Noah, I've got this awesome canvas for you right there. Hey, you just say one. I got all the paint. All right, screw Brian. Hey, Noah, you want to paint my wall right now? Uh-oh, is Wes going to do his too? Hey, Brian, your truck's taller, dude. No, it's not. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, it's way taller, huh? It's like his beard's f***ing gray. He looks like our grandpa. No, he says that's wisdom. <laughs> well, I don't know what his definition of wisdom is. Well, Noah, this one needs a whole paint job. You just go down the side of this truck and do whatever you want, buddy. So if you guys remember, Brian did the L5P, uh, well, whole front end conversion to a 2500, but they also put the L5P hood, and obviously there's no, uh, I don't know what the little cloth, heat shield, barrier thing is called that's in there, but Brian's not running that. Because I, I kind of watch it, he does not Oh, instead, he's going to uh, end up getting the entire under hood, basically painted from Noah. Noah's going to be doing the paint job over here. We're talking. Big American flag, work for it on my, my thing over there. Plus, so I was just asking Noah how much paint. I want Wes on there. Can we do Wes, a mural of Wes? Oh, like we how could. much? We could. Yeah, how much paint for that forehead? Do we got enough? It's more about the money, but there'll be enough paint. <laughs> oh, all right. I don't know if I can afford that much paint. Brian, what are you doing, dude? I'm getting uh, everything together. It's four bolts, and we have all socket sets and tools here for you to use. I have everything right now. Hey, I'm you know, we've got some. Oh, so the AC Delco? Yes, sir. Dang, buddy. Teamwork, boys. Teamwork. <laughs> that thing was electric, bro. All right, you got it, boys. How long until he realizes he needs these? <laughs> hey, bro, you're all prepared. All right. A little trip to Harbor Freight. Pull her out. My keys are on the other side. How come you always losing your keys here, dude? Hold on, I got you, bro. <laughs> Very ricer. You should just go with no hood. Or we should make you a clear hood. You just park in front of Sergio's. You should be all right. Everybody's got their own brand. So you like. can't just go to like Walmart and buy some fucking. Well, I mean, you can't use Rust-Oleum, but for something like this, why use Rust-Oleum? So these are lower pressure? Yeah, it's a low pressure paint with a, like, it's an acrylic formula. It's got a nice, like, little mat so it doesn't drip and it just dries really nice. It adheres to damn near anything. Pardon me for not being in the graffiti world. You guys all have, like, your special tips and stuff, right? Yeah, so I got different caps right here. The yellow ones, those are, like, universal thins. These black ones are about medium and the gray dot is really thin. And then you got this cool little guy right here called Stencil Cap. Ooh, I like that. It's heavy. So what you do, they're very messy, but you can get a really nice line. So you'll take a can, put a cap right there, and then put this on the outside. And so it does, it sprays the cap through that really tiny hole, it makes a really small line. Well, the only problem is it pulls up paint in there. Gotcha. But if you want to get a thin line, that's the way to do it. Do you wear gloves or do you just play your hands? He doesn't wear gloves, bro. Yeah. Oh, I just came back from yesterday, so. Yeah, legally painting uh, a hospital for children. Yep. Yeah. For charity. For charity, there you go. All right. So we're getting Brian's little uh, paint booth set up right here. Sure, there's not gonna be any overspray on my truck. It's a little close. I spray paint my garage all the time. Um, if you would like, I mean, I see safe. your hands. Yeah. Also, <laughs> if you feel uh, safe putting something over, you can. So it's an outline of the hood, and then pretty much just like the basic concepts of what we'll be painting today. 
Nice, dude. It's gonna look good. Yeah. Do I'm our jealous. Best. I'm jealous. This is what I've been wanting on that truck forever. I talked to a, like a somebody that does like low riders and does like yeah. the crazy like airbrushing of like realistic women and stuff on it. She wanted two grand to do with the underside of my hood. So at that point, I was like, maybe I'll hold off for a little bit. It's not that uh, that important of a thing to do. This a ventilation. You know, in the early days when we first moved in, one of the first things we did was we built this little ventilation system. Perfect timing. It only took us like really two years <laughs> to actually two years. need it. Yeah. It, it feels like two years. So right now they're getting everything prepped to make sure no overspray gets on, obviously the top side of the hood. Ready boys. It's a gloss enamel. It's good stuff, right? Yeah, we should pop it right on there. All right, I'll do the top side, you do underneath. Oh, look at that, it's low pressure and everything. No, I'm practicing right here. I got you, bro. Here you go. All right, right, Bryant, underneath yours. Nice and thorough, huh, buddy? Yep. Look at that, dude. It just sticks to the wall. Was it like the self adhere, I think? Or static. Finishing up the prep, getting everything nice Bryant, and clean. This one's like $5 can, and they're all by Montana. Oh. Montana's like my favorite brand. Um, there's a few good ones with Molotov, there's Iron Lag, uh, Flame, stuff like that. But Montana, just as far as like doing uh, like murals and art, this is the one I always go to. Yeah, I Yeah, I see. Uh -huh. Like in the, the color scheme we got going on in there. Very patriotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you should let Bryant try first and then you come fix it. You know, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Beautiful work, Bryant. Beautiful, buddy. Uh, I guess. It is crazy how low pressure that is and like just it's, how clean it comes out. Yeah, it doesn't drip at all. And you see like parts like right there, like where I started, it's already dry. Nice. Like it's, so you're saying this stuff dries almost instantly? Yeah, it dries really quick. Like you can touch that right there. It's completely dry. Keep that line. So right now you're going through, you're doing all your outlining. Yeah, just doing the outlines and I'll start with doing the basic colors. Probably do the blue part last. And then uh, see how it looks and we'll adjust from there. Nice. Hopefully get it right the first time. So these are going to be Brian's. Face plates for his new track bars that he's got going on his truck. Damn, look at those fucking The lead-ins? Yeah. Lead got some ovals over here. I know, I saw that. Got some ovals. How much did you pay for these, Brian? They're like 60 bucks. Yeah. All right, for 60 bucks, you can't really complain. That might have been the shipping. <laughs> yeah, that happened in shipping? <laughs> well, no, that I'm saying that might have been covering shipping only. Brian wants to get these chromed to match uh, his wheels and everything. A little bit of prep work there. You can see... Uh, I did it with the flat disc board. Holes you drilled. <laughs> Bro, that, they, he got a broken tap in there. He had to drill it out. He said he broke a few taps in there. Yeah. What the f though, dude? How else are we supposed to get a tap out? There's tap removing kits. Now you tell him. I know, geez. <laughs> Why didn't you hit up the professional in the first place to do that? Instead of, I would have done it for you. Yeah, because you're mad, you're mad at me. No, I'm not. Color is sick. Yeah, I like that yeah, red. Nice, nice paint. Like you, you're not gonna get that with Rust-Oleum. Like you can see, it's not really dripping or anything like that. It's adhering pretty nicely. Yeah. Drying quick. Is it? It's an enamel. Oh no, it's just an acrylic paint. An acrylic. Yeah, it's a lot better. A lot better. So if you guys are prepping anything for powder coat paint, uh, especially, especially chrome, probably one of the better things to use is one of these wire knot wheels instead of using a flap disc or anything like that because you're actually removing too much material and you're going to see every little chink and divot and whatever you make in the actual metal if you use something too aggressive it's really going to show up especially chrome so brian's going through prepping these pieces right now getting all the high spots taken off <laughs> that was a good time to film you there no i didn't even know they were going to hit that i was just getting relaxed i think we'll see every like every time somebody's hit a horn we'll see the little chatter in there we got level fern up in the house oh we get we got gangster fern. I hear some air compressors. We got fern the plug right here. Woo! Hey, make sure you. Hey, fern! Woo! Yeah, gallons. Hey. The new brisket hitch cover. Thanks to who? Hey, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Oh, that's uh. Thanks to Alex. Alex. Uh, what do we What do we got going on down here, fern? In train horn. Fern, I know where you got that at. Where? Offer up. Yup. Guess how much? Three hundred. Nope. Two hundred. Uh, Two fifty. I saw it on there. Damn, that's that shit's louder than mine. Fern got the airbag set up too. Come up. Damn, that's 
Get out of there, bro. That's mine. He's getting that cost. Get out of there. You don't want some? Yeah, he needs some. My hands are dirty. Is this good stuff? Yeah, man. This. Ooh, it burns good, Fern. This is good stuff, buddy. The design I drew. See how the star is about the size of the stripe? Yep. So I want to be about the size of the stripe, just so it looks even. Cutting a little template right here out of some cardboard. Yeah, gonna do another draft. Test run. Test star. Yeah. Move paint right over it. Hey, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Just stress it a little bit. Blend it. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And then yeah. just line them all up. No, oh, yeah, no, we're there needs to be 50. I want to count 50. I've got the proportions of the flag. This looks like the ratio is a little bit off with the union to the stripe. Burn, how'd you do it, buddy? How'd I do what? How'd you convince Wes to work in the truck? Barbecue and money. Barbecue money, all right. Now I owe him one. Times are tough right now. I need to get my stimulus. I'm different tax bracket. Suck. You know what? I, I was like, you know what? I can use this $500. I can buy something for Tires. the truck. Tires. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Hey, okay, we got the whole crew showing up today. It's like the good old days. Yes. Hey. What are you doing here, pal? What am I going on over there? Oh, uh, you know, we're working hard in the shop. Are we? Yeah. Hey, you got to stop hitting stuff with your mirrors. Oh, that was like the first day I owned this truck. <laughs> hey, Noah, I got another stencil here. If you want to throw some 94s on oh, there. Oh, yeah. I got it's sponsored. You, Talking to my good buddy Noah. He says he can make it graffiti style and drip if you want, or would you like it like it is? What do you mean drip? So like, that's one of the lines, right? Stuff like that, like. Like just like a few ones, like here or there. Because I know you're saying you want a graffiti style now, I mean. Yeah. I, no, I That'd think be more like, D-Max like Josh's is more like that type of style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is, uh, this kind of suits the sweet. All right, I'll just keep on cleaning it up. Make it look just like Grave Digger yeah. right there. Let's see. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> be about like that. I'm with you. I like it. No, you're not You're not gonna sign your work, dude? Yeah, always so. Yeah. Yeah, sign it, dude. Are you gonna sign it like OG Crip? Uh, I'm just saying my last name. It says better than Wes. Yeah, <laughs> right? That would be pretty fun. Right? Well, that looks rad. How come when we chillin' everything will feel the same? Feel the same. I just gotta know. How come when I pull up, I'm like, here we go again? Go again. That's why I just gotta know. Why we ain't been different? Why I feel the same Ain't time we kick it? We just can't get rid it. Ain't no fixing. Here we go again with with another lie that's told in vain. Avoid the pain, even though we need to say goodbye. I feel the same. So codependent, this hurting been open ended. We just been hoping we ain't have to say it's over ended. But the wound is open, let it be. You let it be, love it and set it free. But the end of you and me, I thought this new to me, but I just gotta know. All right, guys, well, the flag is pretty much wrapped up. We're just waiting for everything to dry right now. Obviously, beautifully signed. Noah, where can everybody find you on Instagram? You can find me on Instagram at 916 Noah 1998. 916 Noah 1998. What, what can be shown? He's got a pretty sick Nipsey Hustle mural and stuff on there. And hopefully, soon we're going to be proud of whatever mural you're going to be doing up there. Soon. Are you brainstorming? You got some ideas? Oh, I got ideas right now. You just say the word to go. Hey, Brian, you got a pretty big run right here, buddy. Really? Yeah. Brian, did you take you didn't tape it good, dude. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Hey, you should be ready for install. Let's do it. All right, moment of truth. Is it going to fit? Hopefully. Right here, above the radiator. Yeah. I'm getting a color match. Oh, bro, Brian, don't mess around here. Have ass or nothing. Uh oh, you're going to run out of room here. Your tires are too wide, dude. Don't scratch it. Nice and slow, nice and slow. It's a little it's a little further back. If you look at where the latch has been catching that, it's about a quarter inch back. It might not be far enough on the latch. Yeah. We gotta shift it forward. Now I know that I was wrong. Hold on, pop the hood on this thing. Let's see what we got up underneath this bad boy. Yeah, this is the most crowded entryway ever. 
Holy <laughs> yeah, so it's a true twin turbos and there's two intercoolers, two intakes, two throttle bodies, two turbos obviously. Pretty fun little car. It's yeah. Fun. Yeah, race Wesson. <laughs> or Wes <laughs> Racing. <laughs> you gonna race him? Half my weight. But it's got an all-wheel steering system on it, which is unique. What do you mean? All wheel? Yeah, what does that mean? The wheel, the, the rear wheel turn too. Oh, uh, really? What is this so, called? Yeah. What is this called? Uh, so it's a uh, Tankus all-wheel steering on this one. What's the car? The model? Oh, it's a 300ZX. Oh. Turbo. I know there was another car that had yeah, that. If you wanna... Yeah. So some of the GTRs have it. If it's really? something yeah. really complicated, <laughs> check that out. Wow! Look at that brat. It's like the. Oh, it's like the GM. When the GM did the rear wheel steer. I didn't know any cars had ever done that. Yes, yeah, so this one's actually no, really nice um, because the earlier ones have a hydraulic pump that does all wheel steering and hydraulics fail. This was electronically actuated because it's 1996. This I mean, these things already turn on a dime, don't they? What do you need four wheel steer for? Go faster, tighter. But do you really? <laughs> I don't know. Taking the freeway exits at 90 is pretty fun. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but does it do it like the GM to where at a certain that, speed they yeah, turn yeah, the yeah. same direction? <laughs> And then slower yeah. speeds, they turn yeah, opposite. So it's, uh, it's like a percentage ratio for how fast you're going. It's not as dramatic as the front wheels, obviously. Right. It's fun enough, but it's scary when it breaks loose because it just commits. Turned out good, buddy. Yeah. Turned out good. Yeah. If anybody wants their hood done, you know, hit us up. Shoot us a DM. We're offering the service now over here. Wes will remove it for you. Noah will paint it for you. We'll get it back reinstalled. And I can't wait to show you guys what me and Noah are coming up with for the back wall in the warehouse. Uh, finally, after eight months of painting that thing black and saying we're going to spray paint it, we're finally going to end up doing it. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforitapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Damn.